Joining me is Ross Greenwood, Sky News Business Editor and host of Business Now, weekdays at 4.30. Ross, thanks for joining me. The government says it's going to create 1.3 million jobs in five years. Isn't it true that Labor could make exactly that same promise with the same lazy trick, just open our doors to more migrants? Oh, it's so true. I mean, here's the problem. There are skill shortages in Australia right now. Where do the 1.3 million workers come from? Now, they say this is about getting the participation rate up. In other words, getting more um, sort of older workers or maybe more women into the workforce. But the reality is that Australia already has one of the highest participation rates in the world. It's been rising fast already. So you're right. The way in which they'll get those workers is to import them, bring skilled migrants in from overseas, and the budget told us that this year. It said that basically the um, net immigration rate by 2025, so three years' time, will be a quarter of a million, which is exactly the same as what Kevin Rudd and Julia Gillard brought in and which really caused some fundamental problems for Australia. So it's a sugar hit, there is no doubt. But the reality is that understand that that might take away a skilled job from somebody here in Australia or indeed take away the incentive for, a, for an employer to employ somebody here in Australia in favour of taking somebody from overseas. Look, this whole immigration Ponzi scheme really gets me riled. But um, Anthony Albanese, right, yesterday, major slip-up, couldn't remember the unemployment rate, which I just think is like, if there's one figure you need, particularly as a Labor Prime Minister, is the unemployment rate, because so many, un uh, uh, you know, economic policies hang off that one fact. Now, it seems to me he's been caught out today, the story in the Fin Review, uh, Financial Review, he's been peddling the line that the workforce is getting more and more casualised. This is the ACTU line as well. Casualised, then this is no good. We've got to do something about it. It's actually not true, is it? No, it's not true. In fact, under this current government, the number of casual workers has actually declined, not increased. Um, the real increase in casual workers happened again under a Labor government, not under a coalition government. But this is a line that's been pushed out there for a very long time. And what's also failed to be recognised here is that many workers deliberately work as casual Labourers. Now, there are some who might not wish to, but the reality is that there are many who want to work with an ABN number, want to work in that sort of, if you like, casualised manner so that they can pick and choose when they work. They want to have control of their own tax affairs and indeed of their own superannuation. And so this is, again, another fact, if you like, that Anthony Albanese did not get right, which is all the more surprising for not just the unemployment number that was woefully wrong yesterday, not only for the cash rate that was just not there there for him as he could have said zero would have been fine but the reality is what's more of a surprise is that Anthony Albanese is a graduate um, of the School of Economics of Sydney University so that's the that's the other surprising thing about it all